Hey guys, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So, I'm just going to show you how to calibrate the colors with the Spider 5 Express on a Dell 2405 FPW monitor. So, like before, just going to go ahead and open go to data color.com get Spider 5. We've already gone through this a few times, but I just wanted to show you how much of a difference it'll make on just about any monitor. Coming up next and probably the last video at least for color calibration is going to be how to calibrate on a laptop. Again, it calibrates on a laptop, on a desktop, for Windows and for Mac OS. So this should only take a few more seconds. Alright, and so just so you have a point of reference, this is my wedding photo from about 11 years ago. A lot has changed. <laughs> so, just again, point of reference. Actually, what I'm going to do is, since the software does require you to, whoops, not do that, does require you to reset the monitor, let me go ahead and do a factory reset. Wrong button again. Factory reset, all reset. God, I hope I don't regret it. <laughs> all right, so it doesn't look horrible. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start the installation process. Go ahead and close the website down. Next, next. Next, and no, it's not plugged in right now. At least the uh, the Spider 5 Express is not plugged in right now. All right, so now it's asking me to plug it in. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in real quick. And by the way, I have been installing it on different PCs, so this is the third. All right. Now I'll start up the software all right here we go it's detecting it and we click next all right yes yes there's a new release let's see if I can finally get it all right updated, warmed up, everything's been set, desktop, all right and now I'm going to plug my spider in, Alright, and now that the spider is plugged in and is on there, I'm going to tilt this backwards a little bit just so that this is flat on there. Alright, it's flat. Now let's go ahead and start her up.
All right, it is complete. I'm gonna go ahead, move this out of the way, close this, put this back down. Kind of excited to see what this looks like for, of course, personal reasons here. Finish, save, next, and let's go one we haven't seen yet. I don't know why they put a black and white one here, but... Okay, switch, calibrated, uncalibrated, quit. Alright, so, be the judge in a sec. I'm going to go ahead and put everything together in a video, and you tell me which one looks best. The after shot, before shot, you can see on the after shot, the plants just look much more green, much more healthy, more alive. Um, talking about you know the 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 tree and the the bushes and the grass just looks a little bit more alive. Uh, the color the, there's more color there's there's looks a lot better. The the wood chips even they look newer. The Spanish tile also looks a little bit more vibrant. Uh, the car itself looks a little bit more flushed out on the on the left. Um, let's see, what else can I point out? And well, and our skin tone, you know, we just seem a little more alive uh, on the left. We seem just very pale. Um, so it, it brings the, and if you, you'll notice the, the tree on all the way on the right, um, the, the the trunk itself just looks a lot more well, I guess like the rest of the picture it, it, it feels more warm it, it looks a little more alive you can actually even the taskbar the taskbar from the left to the right the right just looks a little darker so it seems to you know make the darkers a little more darker but in a good way and you know I guess what's alive look a little more alive. I don't know any other way to put it. Chime in though. Tell me what you guys think. Again, to me, the, the right looks just more vibrant. That's again the Data Color Spider 5 Express on the Dell 2405 FPW monitor on a Windows PC. That's the third test. The final test will be on a laptop. All right, guys, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you.